How's it going, YouTube? This video is going to be on my ballistic vest, bulletproof vest, and play carriers. So, <clears throat> if you're into any kind of prepping, I think it's important to have some kind of ballistic protection, be it a soft body armor <clears throat> or a plate carrier. And these can be purchased online on, uh, e I got both of these, I got all this on eBay. These are pl old retired police issue Kevlar vests. These are level 3A, so they'll stop 44 magnums. And it's, <clears throat> keep in mind that Kevlar really doesn't degrade. It, it doesn't uh, deteriorate. So the fact that these are no longer uh, police issue, that they're throwbacks from the police, uh, you know, certain police departments or wherever, uh, they're still good. And they're good for, I, I have never seen an expiration date on Kevlar. Uh, the one thing you want to make sure is they haven't been used, obviously. Um, but you can get these on eBay for, I think I paid 50 or 60 bucks a piece for these. This one's a point blank body armor. And this one, um, I can't remember what the manufacturer this one was. Anyway, uh, I got two, you know, just in case I have to give one to somebody. And then a plate carrier. Now, depending on what you're prepping for, if you're prepping for natural disasters, these are probably good enough. Uh, you know, if you're after a natural disaster, there's people that'll go around and loot and do all that. And chances are they're not gonna be carrying rifles but if you're prepping for a raw, um, civil unrest, things like that, the plate carrier is definitely the way to go. And I would, if you're going to carry other gear on your, on your chest, uh, don't go with this type of plate carrier because uh, there's no molly. There's no really way to attach anything. Um, of course, I could attach it to the straps and stuff, but I got this real cheap. I think the plate carrier was like 20 bucks. Uh, these are AR500 curved front and back. So I'll be getting a different setup because right now all my other gear is on my Molly vest, uh, my holster, my IFAC, my knife, my magazine pouches, all that. <clears throat> I'd like to transfer that to this. Also keep in mind that you're going to be adding just the plate carriers like four I think they're saying uh, 14 pounds to even 20 pounds these are level 3 so they'll stop at 308 uh, I believe they're quarter inch plates but after you put your magazines on after you put your pistol on after you put your IFAC and your your blade um, if you got a multi-tool things like that you got pistol mags and your rifle mags all on one this thing's gonna weigh a ton it's gonna weigh 60 pounds so make sure that your plate carrier is comfortable when you get that these you can wear underneath your molly vest if you want and I have heard people say that they have these the reason they have the soft body armor is say during a home invasion they have this set up next to their bed. They can jump out of bed, throw that on, grab their gun, and address whatever's happening in the house. I don't do that. I have these hanging in my closet. Um, where I live, I don't anticipate home invasion, but uh, as a prepper, I probably should. You know, anything can happen. And the other reason to get these, regardless of what your mindset is, 
whatever you're prepping for, whatever, is these could go away. The availability of Kevlar and ballistic plates uh, could be taken away. I mean, the use of them, the right to have them, could be criminalized with the next passing of a law. So you never know when these aren't going to be available. So I would say get them now and get a few, get a couple. I mean, I'm going to probably try to get another uh, plate carrier and plate uh, set of plates. Now I think in this one, that's 20 So I, I think I have like $130 into these plates. Um, like I said, 50 or 60 bucks a piece for these. So they're not very expensive now. Um, there's better ones out there, of course, uh, with pockets and stuff. I mean, this one does have the another chest pocket in it. This one does not. Um, and then also keep in mind that there's uh, men's and women's. So there's a woman's cut and a men's cut. I don't know what the difference is, how they determine that. And maybe it doesn't even matter. Uh, you know, some protection is better than none, as they say. So just, just a thought, just something I'm throwing out there, something I prep for is getting these. Um, I address this with my IFAC uh, video. Um, during a conflict, wounds to the chest are deadly. Uh, the chances of you making it to someone that can give you medical attention other than say on the battlefield is pretty slim but you can up your chances by wearing some kind of ballistic protection to the torso like I said in the other video uh, shots to the arm the extremities if they're not hitting arteries are most likely survivable in the, in that situation but a shot to the torso uh, can be deadly and a shot to the head fatal so <laughs> definitely uh, a helmet I would recommend you know getting a couple uh, Kevlar helmets too but god they're so damn expensive right now I can't find a really good one for under like two or three hundred dollars but maybe you know it's a good investment but definitely this I can I can see the soft body armor being necessary before maybe this is necessary uh, just in uh, like natural disasters, like I said, when people are looting and robbing and doing that kind of thing, you might want to have that. Um, like I said, this is probably more extreme, but it would be good to get and have and get your setup done and get used to the weight and the movement of carrying a uh, AR-2 AR-500 plates at the minimum, front and back. Uh, they do make the side plates and the vest with the side pouches and stuff, uh, which is going to add more and better protection, but, you know, it's it's up to the individual what they want to prep for. So anyway, just wanted to share these with you. Um, these are not very expensive. <clears throat> right now. And uh, definitely worth checking out. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. We'll see you.